There is a place where the land is white and the sky is green. There is a place where you can stand up to the mighty glaciers and unwind in the hot springs. Want to know more? Welcome to our channel, Mr. and Mrs. Traveler. We are Pranjal and Priyanka, and this is our journey to the winter wonderland of Alaska. With a negative COVID test report, we started our journey by flying across the U.S. from New Jersey to Alaska. Our first stop was Fairbanks, and yes, we were welcomed by some late night snow. Dreaming about our adventures to begin, we called it a night after we checked in to the hotel. We started our day by heading straight to the airport to pick up our rental car. Picking up a car from Fairbanks in winters is a whole different experience, let alone driving. Cautiously, we started driving in the snow and stopped for coffee at Alaska Roasting Company. We made a stop to take some photos at the hauntingly beautiful Fairbanks Antler Arch, popularly known as Gateway to Downtown Fairbanks. Moving on to our next adventure, we ditched our rental for this beast, Snowmobile. We booked a guided tour from Rod's Alaskan Guide Service located in North Pole, which is a 30 to 40 minutes drive from downtown Fairbanks. For us being first timers, it took a little time to be in control, but our guide had provided all the necessary details before in the briefing. The adrenaline rush being felt initially slowly turns into a sort of meditative experience. We would definitely recommend doing this if you are in and around Fairbanks. On the third day of our Alaskan journey, we did an epic 14-hour Arctic Circle Aurora drive tour with Northern Alaskan Tour Company. After a brief intro session, we got onto the bus, chose our spots and began our adventure. The first stop was at Arctic Circle Trading Post where later in the night we saw some northern lights as well. We then continued our tour and reached the famous Dalton Highway. This is the Trans-Alaskan Pipeline, one of the world's largest pipeline systems. The pipeline which was built between 1975 to 77 carries an average of 1.8 million barrels of oil a day. We made a brief stop at Enchanted Forest which looked unreal. The journey was filled with magical views and vast wilderness all around. We stopped at Yukon River Camp for lunch, which was the only available option on the way to Arctic Circle.
Finally, we reached the Arctic Circle. It was literally freezing and the temperatures were below negative 30. But to be one of the very few people who get an opportunity to touch this point made us forget everything else. The last leg of our tour ended with an epic view of Aurora Borealis. Witnessing the nature's grand show is one of the most memorable moments of our lives. On the fourth day, we booked a day tour with China Hot Spring Resort. It is popular for natural hot springs, ice museums and the northern light tours. Imagine taking a dip in a hot spring with water temperatures inside as 104 degree F when it is minus 20 F outside. It was heavenly. The locals believe the hot spring has healing properties as well. And the best part was getting a frost. Makes up a good Instagram pic, right? After taking a dip in the hot spring, we visited the Aurora Ice Museum. It was created from over 1000 tons of ice and snow, all harvested at the resort. We enjoyed their popular drink apple teenies, served in a glass made of ice. The day ended with the Northern Lights tour. We sat on a military style SUV which took us to the top of Charlie Dome. They also provided heated yurts since the temperatures were freezing outside. We enjoyed the unobstructed view of Northern Lights yet again, with the sky filled with shades of green, purple and yellow colors. On the fifth day, we went for the dog mushing tour with paws for adventure. After meeting the friendly huskies, we did a 15 minute short tour. This is a must do experience if you are in Alaska. We made a stop at the famous Santa Claus house in North Pole and picked up hot chocolate from the cafe inside. We also saw some reindeers at the Antler Academy which is located next to Santa Claus house. We tried some crepes from a popular spot the Crepery in downtown Fairbanks. After making so many memories in Fairbanks, on day 6th, we took the famous Alaskan Railroad journey from Fairbanks to Anchorage. The 12 hours journey is filled with spectacular views of Alaska's vast wilderness. The train goes along the edge of Denali National Park and on a clear day it gives you a chance to spot the Denali Mountains, the highest peak in North America. We also spotted wildlife, moose and bald eagle to be specific.
After 12 hours of scenic journey, we reached Anchorage, checked into our hotel the lakefront and called it a night. On the last day of our Alaskan journey, we rented a car and visited the famous Matanuska Glacier located on the scenic Glen Highway in Glacier View. It is around 2.5 hours from Anchorage. We took a guided tour with Glacier Tours of Matanuska. In winters, you can do only a guided tour, but in summers, you can do a guided tour as well as hike up to the glacier by yourself. Watching the huge glacier from so close is a surreal yet unforgettable experience. It's a moment which cannot be put in words nor it can be shown in any video. As every good things come to an end, we bid goodbye to Alaska with so many adventures and unforgettable memories. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked our journey to Alaska. Have provided all the information in the description below. We are adding more videos every week. So please subscribe to our channel Mr. and Mrs. Traveler and click the bell icon for notification.